nice to meet with, with you tonight. <coughs> so I'm here as a, let's say, convinced uh, economic spy. And it's not satisfied by the blockchain. We heard a lot. But by Interpol, OK? So maybe we can trust it. And if I hear mm -hmm. is to talk to you about what? About a um, tutti frutti project involving bankers, hackers, pirates, politicians. And this tutti frutti project is the same, is related to the same reason I've been uh, rewarded as this uh, unique let's say, diploma of uh, economic spy by Switzerland and uh, Interpol. So it's related to generics. We all heard about generics related to cure. And you know that generic related to cure was about somehow sharing a big pie. You have, you know, big corporation using to provide services or goods and earning a lot of money, and one day, citizens decided that, well, for cure, it could be natural, normal, to share the know-how, or what could save much more people if you can lower the price of such product. And the idea is about the same. Well, I'm from banking system, and meeting with a lot of activists, we made clear the point that, as of today, of course, financial systems are not only solutions. They could also present danger and problems. So tonight, I will present you the kind of generic way to manage payments. Of course, it has to have something related with blockchain. Of course, it is a payment system related also to KYC, as it was just presented before, e-identity. All those opportunities we have right now offer us a unique way to get, to get generic financial system. So, uh, I don't know if... Uh, the, the Slides? Okay, slides. So the first generic and the first concept to, to, to keep in mind with regard to this uh, tonight presentation of fair pay is what means... It's okay? Not yet. <laughs> what means fairness? And of course, you already have understood that it is related to sharing, but not sharing, meaning accessing to the same services. If not, sharing the know-how. Or we can, any want to do so, build, offer your own payment system locally. Not in a centralized way, not from a city, from one country to all the others, if locally, country by country and even city by city. And this is related also to what you may have heard about, named as alternative currencies. So when we're talking about genericity, about generics, it refers to the ability for everyone to share the know-how, the the way we can offer a fair payment system, meaning avoiding what? Avoiding monopoly. Avoiding one company deciding the way the service will be offered. And this will rely, of course, on what? On peer-to-peer -peer technology, on blockchain. And I will be pleased to illustrate that with a few slides that uh, were there, indeed, just to highlight certain part of that subject. But you have to think in terms of pie that you are dividing. 
not letting in the end of the one person, if you, what, if you know what I mean. And to do so, then, the Fair Pay project is about offering locally, not in a distributed but um, top-down model, if not bottom-up model, the payment system, starting by local and small communities, autonomous, that are able to provide the same payment system that we all know, the same that is used by Bitcoin, but not with Bitcoin, of course, removing what we don't like in it, and offering the ability for the community to interconnect. Interconnecting, meaning having the ability, of course, to comply to the services you have as of today, thanks to Visa, if I can say thanks, or other operators. But the idea is to divide. It to divide the P among us and to offer the services enough for any community to build up and to expand. To expand one services that is, of course, as of today, in the end of big players only. So you can represent yourself the initiative as, and that could be applied to many subjects. We, we love uh, blah blah car, but imagine if tomorrow we can split it in many blah blah cars, local one, independent in terms of legal structures, where the local community will get the profit, the benefits of this service. So the idea is to divide, to divide the same existing system and to offer the ability for local community to interact the services that we we'll offer locally. It's about distribution, it's about expansion of the same servicing and of course, starting by the fair payment system. And fair, why? Because for the same reason, a generic cure could be fair. So, it's a bit late. <laughs> Though, so when I was, of course, telling about fairness, it means that when you talk about payment or money, money to be fair, need to be voluntary. And voluntary mean not, is not meaning that uh, uh, you have uh, the, the know-how about how it works only, but you are free to join or to provide also, not only to join. And coordinate meaning it's control. And I will, because I already have exposed mostly the, the concept of genericity in, in finance, and I will switch to the one that are, from the one that are, of course, requiring trust in the fact that they are fair, in the fact that they are sharing and protecting you, because it's also related to what? To big data. If you are dividing a service, you are dividing also the information required for this service to be effective. Because when you know most of the operators that we know, the big player we know, what are they doing with your data? Where are those data? They are centralized. And if you think in terms of P2P, you have a way also to prevent that. And how you prevent with a trustless? And what means trustless? Here is one of the projects that support the fair pay system. Because fair pay is, as, you, as I told you, a tutti frutti, where you have a lot of different sub projects interacting and supporting. And the first sub project is offering, thanks to the blockchain, a way to what? To certify the information and to exchange information with the same level of security that you can find in banking system. So with KPI, you have the blockchain and you have pillared up on top of that different services. And in this case, it's about a certifying service, nothing else. And that's why we're talking about trustless, because of course you have a, uh, um, a distributed ledger technology behind. And well, about expandable in the sense, if you look at the, the Bitcoin nodes, you know what means expandable in the sense everyone 
is free to launch, to start a new node for his own. It could be in Ukraine or whatever, and you will have it. And one other sub-project presenting where we're heading to, what we're heading to, is the also entropy market, which is a, a fork of open bazaar. Meaning what? It's a kind of distributed eBay where you have local, local commerce, business being available globally, but with local profit of that. And we felt a need for a centralized administration and organization of that because it's open source. And going on, if you, we come into the, the case and uh, many uh, more uh, precise aspects of the fair play system, you can, um, for the one that knows a bit more about alternative money and payment system, you may know and you may have heard about CCLOS. CCLOS is offering to 5 million persons e-banking solution, payment system, but of course they are not connected. So imagine uh, that FairPay is a way to interconnect not only, of course, uh, CCLOS node, but whoever player want to rely on what? On a blockchain technology, on an, uh, a system offering communication and putting more transparency because one of the key aspects also of a fair system is to be auditable, that you can audit it. And to share the information that serves you, not the one that exposes you. And this is referred as metadata that you can find in the blockchain. So the main idea to synthesize all this as to as something to have with the smart grid initiative where you can have different sources of energy not competing if not collaborating of offering alternatives and of course putting local part of the economy related to this industry and this of course is against monopoly so here we are you have there now to, to finish the three main projects I uh, introduced, KPI, Entropy Market, and FairPay System. And so I was just presenting those in initiatives that all of them and many more people are working on uh, uh, pretty hard. So you also have, uh, and I wanted to mention also the Syndicate Robot Initiative and the Suricat Commando that uh, you go to the internet, look at them, and you will be surprised of, of course, the, the interesting thing they are, they are doing. Thanks. <laughs>